Former President Donald Trump making yet another trip to Metro Detroit today, making a campaign stop at Macomb Community College tonight. It is Donald Trump's 10th visit to Michigan this year. Jacqueline Francis joins us now with some of the key takeaways from this most recent visit. Jacqueline. Former President Donald Trump brought his town hall format here to Warren, where he talked cars with his supporters. I was not for you in the beginning, but my son told me I sounded ignorant and I needed to educate myself on you. That's it. True. That's what we like. Misty Robinette, an auto worker from Trenton, got a chance to ask former President Donald Trump a question at Friday's town hall. I'm on cloud nine. I'm on cloud nine. She asked about inflation. So. Can you please tell me what you're going to do to lower the prices for us? Yeah, so what we have to do, because the prices are so high, thank you, darling, very much. It's a great question. I loved everything he said, and I truly believe that he is going to help us. It's going to start with energy. We're going to drill, baby, drill. Energy's coming way down. A big focus of the night was the auto industry. I will end the electric mandate on day one of the administration. Trump talking about his plans to bolster the Motor City, saying he'll limit foreign competition by imposing tariffs. Those cars are all going to be built in China. We want cars built in the USA. It's very simple. Vice President Kamala Harris put out a statement ahead of tonight's town hall, reading in part, quote, Donald Trump is one of the biggest losers of manufacturing in American history. He makes empty promise after empty promise to American workers, but never delivers. Trusting Donald Trump again is a risk America's auto workers cannot afford. Reporting in Warren, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4.